What's up, everyone? It is Kay Jones coming at you with another video. Today, I thought we would go ahead and do a RuneScape tier list for Iron Man. I thought that this would be super fun. I've played this game since I was um, nine years old. So I started in 2005. I'm 27 years old now. And I've played the Iron Man game mode for about seven and a half years at this point. Um, totally maxed out on this game and still enjoying the content. And of course, I took a break for a couple years in light of me getting a divorce and getting my master's degree in accounting. But I'm back and I love this game with all my heart and it encompasses a lot of my childhood. And I thought I would do a skill list tier for today, um, which is November 12th, 2023. So this is primarily going to be focusing on old school RuneScape's game mode. Um, I'm not going to be doing like 2007 scape or 2005. This is just for 2023, the end of 2023. And uh, where I think that the skills rank today after all the updates and whatnot. As you can see on my screen, I'm just filling jugs of water for cooking because I literally have um, a bunch of grapes that I thought, okay, might as well make jugs of wine because it's just such great XP and why not, right? It's a very AFK thing to do while we do the skill, skill tier list. This account actually is so freaking old that most of my stuff that I have received on this game was prior to the collection log. Like, I don't even think my Ancestral was on the collection log. Um, most of my Armadillo's not, my Barrows is not. So a lot of this account is so freaking old that it's, it's just not even on the collection list. Um, but anyway, let's get into this skill tier, skill tier list. This is all personal opinion and I'll explain why, but I also want to keep it short and brief. We're going to go ahead and start with woodcutting. I'm going to totally say that this skill is probably woodcutting. I might have to come back to this because it's improved over the years, but it's not one of my top on the list. I am going to include the skill cape perks in the whole skill like tier list because once you get 99 in the skill the perk of the cape is incredible so and it can be extremely helpful hit points i'm going to go ahead and put it as a b tier i think it's necessary for combat in the game do i think it's incredible skill that brings a lot of value in the game leveling it is boring so no but it comes with the territory it's a very passive leveled skill but it's needed for raids and for all other content and whatnot um that's going to go the same for attack and that's going to go the same for defense and that's going to same with range um and the reason why is simply just that these are skills that you need for combat need for raids and they unlock, unlock so much content in the game. They're really good. They're fun to level. Do I think they bring the most amount of value to the game? I don't know. So you could kind of like put these between A and B, really. Um, I may adjust this towards the end, but for now we're gonna go ahead and put that in the B tier. They are excellent skills and bring so much value to the game and are very enjoyable. Now, when we're going to come to magic, I'm really stuck between S and A tier. I'm going to go ahead and put in S. Uh, magic has brought so much utility to this game. In fact, a lot of the value that it brings for an Iron Man is gone because Runelight provides it. For example, knowing, knowing the status of your crops or whatnot. And, um, you know, there's just a lot that you can do. For example, cure like poison. You literally at Zora, I don't know about y'all, but I would like use the Cure Me spell all the time. Magic literally teleports you across the game. It unlocks quest. It's extremely powerful in PVM and PVP. It's safe spottable. It allows, like I said, that to those teleportations are crucial to the game. If you can't teleport across this game, this game is not enjoyable and not really fun. Additionally, there's so many spell books. You've got Arceus, which has now Thralls. You have Lunar Spellbook, Ancients, 
the standard spell book. There's just so much about magic that is one, so useful to the game. It's enjoyable. It's great for high level content. The gear is now good. They have more gear options and they're getting better about it. The concept of ruins is kind of fascinating. And additionally, the teleportation is huge on RuneScape and the the skill cape for this, being able to spell book swap five times a day is absolutely incredible. Definitely one of the best skill cape perks out there. We're gonna go ahead and put strength additionally in B as well. It is a little bit more crucial, I would say, than like attack and defense, but we're still gonna keep it in this tier. We'll put it probably on the highest tier. Kind of arrange these to where I think their value is. Um, so yeah, let's continue this. Fire making, F tier. I would say it's probably the only F tier skill in this game. Winter Talk came out. Is it enjoyable? Absolutely, probably for about five hours. And then it gets really tedious. It's nice that it levels up wood cutting, it levels up fletching. Um, but fire making just really doesn't bring a lot of value to this game at all. Like it's not needed. You can literally go to a cooking range and cook everything you need. It's not like sitting by a fire restores your run energy unless they added that to old school runescape. I don't think so though. Um, additionally, it just doesn't provide much. It's not like warmth inspires you or makes you stronger or anything like that. I think that's a runescape three thing. It just doesn't really provide much and is a skill that needs a lot of help. Winter Todd did improve it, but it's still pretty useless. And it literally can take, if you grind out fire making for extensive amount of hours, you can get 99 within like three or four days, which I just think is ridiculous and doesn't bring any value at all. Um, the fire cape perk, you get to use, basically it works as a light source. That is really nice, especially when you're in like Dorgashan like this and you're in the caves. That's nice, but the max cape, you know, it's kind of added on to that perk. It's just... It's just, it's just probably the worst skill in the game still today, unfortunately, which sucks because the orange and yellow cape is so freaking cool looking and it's pretty, but just not a really great skill. Cooking, I'm going to go ahead and, ooh, put that in the E tier. Um, it, it provides value because you can cook your fish and you need fish in the game, you know, if it's a food source. Uh, as well, there are some things where you can do some baking and, you know, it, 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 it's a little bit more involved than fire making and it's way more useful because, like I said, you need to cook your food, which is good, but it's not a very fun skill. I mean, it's very AFKable, which some people really like. I like to AFK cooking, but it, as for enjoyment, and it, there's not a lot of enjoyment in it. It's more of like a really quick skill to level and to get your food cooked so you can eat it. That's about as simple as it gets. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and continue on this list. Prayer, I will go ahead and put in B as well. I'm gonna be honest, prayer is essential to the game for raiding, for questing. It's essential, but it's hella boring to level. Um, but it's so important and it's necessary. It is, you have to have it. It's necessary for bossing and PBMing. And because it's so important, the value of the skill for as boring as it is to level, uh, the value of it is, is there, right? And um, I just think prayer is B tier. You know, you need it. It's valuable. It's boring to level and it is what it is. Ruin crafting. I'm going to go ahead and put ruin crafting in C tier. Uh, a lot of people are going to be like, what? How is it that high up? Ruin crafting is awful to level. As an Iron Man, it's really important. Um, making cosmics, you can buy it from the shop, fine. Um, but your rune pout, I, I always found it valuable. Um, truly, I think it's important. And, you know, it's nice to be able to make your runes instead of buying them because you can use your GP somewhere else in the game. Um, you can use those runes to level magic and do so much more. 
And now with Guardians of the Rift, I really enjoy that mini game. if you haven't played it yet. It brought Rune Crafting from a D tier to a C tier. Um, definitely. It's a great mini game. The pet is cool. Uh, I'm not very sure what the Rune Crafting skill cape perk is. Obviously, it's not important enough for it to bring much value. But it is a skill that, that can be utilized as an Iron Man very well and is used for magic and as main accounts you can make some pretty good money from it you know um definitely not b and it, you could say it's like on the line with d um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into wood cutting i'm gonna be completely honest i think it's definitely an e tier skill once again it's afkable and you can chop logs for wood cutting i meant for fletching excuse me which is nice you know, um, you got logs for fletching to level fletching and it's an AFKable skill, right? Um, but at that same point, you know, it's just not that enticing and it's not as valuable as let's say ruin crafting, you know, or nowhere near as valuable as prayer, etc. Crafting. Ooh, that's tough. I mean, I really don't want to just shove that in somewhere where it doesn't belong. I think crafting is a good skill. I like it. I'm really happy it's in the game. Now it's being utilized for like creating high level armor like Missouri. You need like level 90 to, to pair it with your um, armor and shit and you can make stabs. Additionally, you know, that's how you're going to make your your um, Zenite jewelry, your Amulet of Fury, your Glory. All of these are essential and really are only made through crafting on an Iron Man. So I, I think it's, it's really important to the game. I really do. Um, I would say it's just as important as rune crafting in its own way. Um, in fact, I'd probably put it above rune crafting. It's a good skill. Sucks to level, but it's just so freaking useful, you know, especially in higher tier Iron Man. Construction. So, construction is horrible to level in this game. It is so boring. But the value of what a house brings is in freaking sane. So, this skill K perk is the teleport to your house. Unlimited. That is broken as heck. Horrible skill to level, boring as heck. That's what keeps it from S tier down to A tier. The pool of rejuvenation is broken as heck. Cures poison, venom, cures everything, restores your health, prayer, and run. How broken is that? You can literally have a fairy ring and a freaking tree, spirit tree, in your house when you get to high level. You can make... I mean, construction just provides so much. And then here you can make teleport tabs as an Iron Man. You've got room for your pets, which is, nor uh, it's all right. Guild with altar, big deal, especially before the wildy altar. That was essential for an Iron Man. Uh, you can now make this teleportation nexus where you can teleport anywhere in the game if you put it in this portal. It is broken as heck. Uh, more teleportation. You can store all this stuff from your bank in your house, which provides so much more bank space. And, all you know, you can also see your collection from clues and whatnot. And like I said, I want to reiterate, the teleportation unlimited to your house is probably the best skill cape perk in the game. That being said, it is a horrible skill to level. Um, definitely not enjoyable worth it absolutely but despite it being a horrible skill to level the perks and the the what it provides to the game and to your character as an iron man is insane along with that skill cape perk i mean it's it's a tier for sure um i just don't see how someone would see it being otherwise all right let's continue I'm going to be completely honest. Thieving, I want to put in F tier 2, but it does provide more than fire making. It's a requirement in many quests. Pyramid plunder, getting that scepter is a really big deal and, and is very valuable to the game. 
as well as you know you can get the eternal gem for prefidenis prefidenis is that how you say and whatnot all of these things are really useful in the game and really nice to have you know it's it's more enjoyable than fire making there's more activities to do um you can make good money pit walking already nights i think it is um and that income's really nice still just really probably one the the next tier up from fire making it's still just freaking trash but it's it's better than fire making for sure smithing uh smithing is good for an iron man not really necessary nobody really the high tier armor you don't really get from smithing it's all from pvming uh you can make your dragon fire shield i think from smithing which is nice it's an okay skill. I don't mind leveling it at Blast Furnace. I think it's okay. I don't think it's great. I definitely don't think that smithing provides... I mean, you can make darts, which is great, and then darts are essential for an Iron Man, for your blowpipe, for, for leveling fletching. It's the fastest way to level fletching in the game. Additionally, when you make armor and you alk it, you make a ton of money. So that's very useful as an Iron Man. I don't want to underrate it but i do think it's a d, d tier you could argue it's a c tier just because of the darts and being able to you know alk the armor you make and make a lot of money from that um you can also make bolts with smithing and bolts is used for your crossbow so i mean it's between c and d but i just i personally uh it's tough i mean you could definitely even make an argument that it's better than ruin crafting but we'll, we can just come back to that later. I'm going to go ahead and put it in D tier. Uh, fletching, pretty garbage. I would say it definitely brings more value than smithing because as an Iron Man, you know, I smithed all these um, dragon bolts, you know, and finished. I made all these ruby and diamond bolts. Uh, basically, all my bolts and darts I use um, and arrows. I make all my amethyst arrows. I think it's a lot more valuable than people give it credit for uh, because for raids all your amethyst stuff you make and it sucks to level but I would actually say it brings more value than wood cutting as an Iron Man. Um, just my two cents. I think wood cutting is the necessity to fletching for leveling it um, along with smithing kind of being a big deal for fletching as well in fact i think fletching is underrated i don't think it's as important as the outcome of pro getting food in your bank um to eat and utilize but fletching is a good skill but it's it's boring as hell and it's very fast to level i just don't love it personally but i think it's more valuable than people give it credit for this is not based off of the skills that I enjoy the most ne necessarily. It's more of like a broader perspective, right? Uh, Hunter. The best thing that came out of, out of Hunter is chins, for sure. Uh, chins can, are used in the game, especially at like Armadil. Coming from someone with over a thousand Armadil KC, I would definitely say chins, you know, are good and needed. Uh, and they can be utilized in a lot of other places. But I don't find Hunter... That's a hard one. I, I just don't particularly love Hunter. I think that it takes a step below fletching. And I know there's going to be those Hunter people out there that really enjoy that skill. But it, it's just not fun to level. It's not fun to level. It's not AFKable. It provides a little bit more than woodcutting just because chins are so awesome. Um... But other than that, and, and also it's a requirement for a lot of quests, you know. But I'm glad to have it in the game, and it, it brings more of a dynamic to the game, you know. Like uh, pitfalls and things like that, and it's cool, you know. The salamanders used to be really good, now they're not used at all. It's a cool dynamic, though, catching salamanders. Agility. Okay. I hate to be that kind of person, but I think agility is really important. Being able to run around the game and maintain that stamina is so useful. I also think the agility perk for the skill cape is really nice. Um, you know, you, you get that stamina boost, which is really useful if you're in a bad situation and you can just go to your max cape or your agility cape. Um, 
and straight up get a stamina boost. That's that's fantastic. Uh, it's hella boring to level. Uh, rooftops made it way more enticing and enjoyable. Uh, marks of Grace, you know, you need them to make stamina potions, which stamina potions are essential as an Iron Man, especially in the upper game. You use them everywhere. So in my eyes, therefore, agility is essential. Um, I would even put it above rune crafting. I know it's horrible to level. Horrible. Gut-wrenching, boring, horrible. But the Marks of Grace, after you get that Graceful, so good for stamina potions. Absolutely almost a necessity. And um, being able to maintain, like I said, the stamina and run energy is just a big deal. All right, we're gonna continue and we're gonna go to fishing. I like fishing a lot. I think Tempros is a really good addition, addition to the game. Fishing is essential for food. Like now they made a better way to where you can fish minnows, which is really good for catching sharks. It's a lot more click intensive, but you get sharks a lot faster. I think angler fish are great to the game. I really like fishing a lot. It's a great AFKable skill. I've always enjoyed it. I love the heron pet. Um, totally going to give it a really high C tier. I mean, I would even argue it's B. I'm going to go ahead and put in B, actually. Like, oh, dude, it, it's freaking hard, man. Like, I'll give it C, a high C, like almost B. Um, fishing is good. Definitely important. It is a mid-tier, like right in the middle. It's important. It's useful. It's it's not the best to level, but it's way more enjoyable than a lot of other skills. And, um, you know, with Tempros and now the Minnows and everything, it's just good. And Anglers are pretty, pretty awesome. Um, farming. Uh, <laughs> let's just wait on that one. Let's go to mining. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, put that in D right below, right below smithing. Um, it's required for a lot of quests. I love Motherload Mine, so I'm really biased on that. Um, the concept of mining is really cool. Uh, I mean, being like a miner and having prospectors, it's cool. Shooting stars are really cool, very AFKillable in the game. I personally find mining relaxing and fun to level. Um, I, I don't think it brings more value than cooking. So, I mean, I think it brings probably just as much value as cooking. It, it, that's very difficult, actually. Maybe we should switch these. That's a difficult situation. But, I mean, all of these are, like, on the line. It's tough. You could even argue that fletching needs to be here, actually. I'm feeling like that's a little bit better of an analysis there. Yeah, that looks better. Alright, next. I'm just feeling like that's the right place to put them. Slayer. I was gonna save this one for last. I love Slayer, but putting my personal opinions aside, it's <clears throat> more fun to level, in my opinion, than other things in the game, it brings so much freaking value as an Iron Man. Let's just get into this, like, cave horrors. You need your Slayer Helmet for that. Then you start getting to worms, and you start getting your Dragon Harpoon and other things. Spiritual Rangers, you get your D-Boots. Dust Devils, you just get a lot of runes and alchemals. Fossil Island Wyverns, you can get the shield. You can get bones for prayer. Cuirass, fruit fruit to for farming stuff, you know, to, to secure your crops. Um, bones from Curas, money from Curas, the, the axe, the leaf blade, axe and sword, skeletal wyverns, bank, and, and many other great things from that. Uh, gargoyles, insanely good money and some other fun things that you can get there from like the, the granite mall and whatnot. Um, Spiritual mages, or I think it's spiritual mages, excuse me, that you get your D-boots. Drake's not that great. Abyssal demons, your whip! Gosh, and that brings sire so you can get your bludgeon, your cave kraken, you can get your trident, dark beast. Kind of boring, but you can get the Debo, um, and also, uh, I guess you can get superiors, which help you get the, um, 
imbued heart and the eternal gem. Cerberus, you get your Bacasians, Primordials, Eternals. So freaking good. Smoke Devils, your Colt. Hydras, your freaking Lance. It is an S tier skill. Great skill in the game. Pretty enjoyable to level. And it brings so much value to irons. It's a necessity for irons. It's, it's a necessity. Um, I would be really shocked if anyone were to argue that for an Iron Man about Slayer. Uh, for main accounts, it's great money. But even for Iron Man, it's just great money. So we'll see about that. But I mean, I'm going to... Oof. Ooh, I'm going to put Slayer as like top, you know. I love it. I love it. I love it. A lot of resources and supplies from it as well. Um, and I would say it's a, it's a must. Herb Lore. I don't know what the Herb Lore perk for the skill cape is. I don't care. It's a phenomenal skill. Sucks to level. Absolutely necessary. Like, your potions are everything when it comes to raiding. The anti-fires, the anti-venoms. Um... Just potions like Ceridomian Brews. Dang. Restores. Dang. Awesome skill. Like, difficult to, to, to level, but just good. Farming. <laughs> so a lot of people would disagree, but get yourself in the farming guild. Get yourself doing some Hespori. Get yourself planting and doing herb runs, guys. You need herbs for high-level content in old school RuneScape. You know, for your Renars, your Snapdra Snapdragons, Torsals, to make super combats. It is just needed. In fact, I would put Herbler up there with farming. I just think farming is a lot more enjoyable and fun. Do your contracts. Farming is so fun. And the herbs that you get from farming are essential. If it weren't for farming, we wouldn't even really have herb lures and iron. I mean, we would, but it just wouldn't be the same. Um, snape grass for your renards. I mean, it's just now, they've taken farming to another level. Before, I would definitely put farming like here, you know, in low A, but the fact that they brought out the farming guild and now the spirit trees too, that you can like plant them and go other places in the game. I just, I just really think it's awesome. I think that farming is a, at another level right now. It's kind of like Slayer, but for the skilling aspect of it. I just, I think it's great. I really do. And if you hate farming now, just give it a chance and get yourself in the farming guild and get yourself involved. And as an Iron Man, start doing those herb runs and you'll realize how important it really is. I didn't really have the respect for farming like I did before until I got to really late game content. You know, we're talking about like 85 farming and up. And then I just realized how freaking value valuable it is. And can we also just straight up say how freaking dope this outfit is? I don't know. It just looks freaking cool, man. Anyway, that's my tier list. Um, I know a lot of these can be subjective. Some of the things I don't think are subjective, especially for Iron Man, is the um, Slayer and Magic. I don't know. I just... You could argue maybe Herblor or Construction is S tier. But I think just leveling Construction is just so brutal. Same with Herblor. Is, they should be S tier, but the, the gruesome aspect of lef leveling both of those is what brings it down to A tier. Um, I just think that magic is more enjoyable to level, Slayer is more enjoyable, and farming is more enjoyable, and they are just as important as those two. And, they're, you know, I'd hate to put all the combat in prayer in S tier, because, I mean, you need it for high PVM content, but the truth is you can't do strength, range, attack, defense, hit points, prayer, without really the Slayer, without the farming and herbler. And, you know, without those, you can't really do the others, you know? And without being able to teleport across the game, you don't have, like, you know, things as accessible and whatnot. So, that's where I'm at. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it to your friends and whatnot. I had a really great time making this video. Um, I love this game. And, you know, give me your thoughts and opinions. If you are, like, right on the money with this one, totally agree. Or, what in the world are you thinking? I disagree and here's why freaking send it and go for it. Thanks for watching guys and I hope y'all have a good one. Bye!